sports was really what started the shutdown for a lot of these things. So it, I, I think it's going to make a lot of sense when sports is one of the catalysts for return back to as close to normal as we're going to get. And, and how is it impacting your work in ESPN and how you're covering what's going on out there? It certainly made us have to get creative a little bit, but I think we kind of went back to the, I think what's central to the job is, I've always felt like our job is to take people where they can't otherwise go. But now we've got a, a really interesting opportunity to take them there as we go back and we replay old games, to revisit with athletes that were a part of these great moments that so many people remember, and to pick their brains and go back in these moments. You know, the Last Dance documentary that's going on this weekend, we're going to get to see behind the scenes of Michael Jordan, one of the greatest athletes to ever walk the face of the earth. What are you seeing out there in terms of uh, these, these all-in and, and professional athletes advocating for, you know, both a sense of connection and helping each other out? Yeah, that, that first part has been really nice to see. You know, you mentioned the all-in challenge, all the different things that we've seen athletes in the professional level doing to try and take care of their communities, right? It's a great reminder that these athletes are not just the stars and the sports guys that you see on your screens, but they're people that live in the communities that they're a part of, and they, they try and give back because they've got the means to right now. And sports has always been a place where I think people can come, certainly for an escape, but also for a sense of camaraderie and something to bond over. And so we look to sports when things get stressful and the people involved are usually used to handling that. And how do you think it does come back online? Do you think it's like sports like golf that come first or what's your thinking there? I think it's going to be some of those single player sports that come back first. I still think as you look, whatever sport comes back first is certainly going to enjoy a boost just because the thirst for live sports is very real and something to sink our teeth into. but. Ultimately, I think the rest of it, you know, maybe as nervous as we all are, sports is something that kind of emboldens everybody to to sort of lock arm in arm like that. And so eventually, once that portion of it's crossed, once we've got a vaccine and once we know people can, you know, kind of breathe that sigh of relief, I think that's when you'll see that last push towards the, as close as normal as we're going to get. Uh, those days, uh, we're looking forward to them. And, and you've done just such a good job keeping your fans and, and those who love ESPN informed and uh and kind of fired up about what's happening out there. Uh, so thank you for the work you're doing. No, thank you for having me. And uh, it's, a, it's an honor. So we look forward to doing it every day.